Good evening, class. Good evening, Janet. Good evening, Katie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, how was your day today? Uh, today I stay home. Oh, really? Why? Why was that? Why did you say uh, working at work? Good evening. Home office. Good evening. Today is day the home office. Oh, okay. So you worked from home today. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you didn't go. You 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 didn't work at all. Okay, okay. All right. How was that? How was your how was your um your home your home office today? Um, very nice. Yeah. Yes. Do you, do you prefer to work at home or do you prefer to work um, mm -hmm. at your workplace? Uh, mix. <laughs> oh, you like a mix. Why? Uh -huh. why, why do you prefer it mixed? Uh, why is combination, perfect combination for me? It's a perfect combination for you. Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. So you mm -hmm. like, you prefer to have it like that, right? Like have it a little bit of both. Okay. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, sometimes I'm asking because sometimes um, it's nice to work from home, but it's also nice to get out of the house and have a different environment and different mm -hmm. people, you know, so, you know, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages to both staying home and going to work right but, yes. yeah you're right but you know the nice part of uh, working from home is that you don't have to worry about for example the traffic you know you don't have to worry about um, the makeup <laughs> <laughs> okay well <laughs> sure. well i have to worry about the makeup <laughs> <laughs> and but in my case, not important. Um, okay, all right. Um, or for example, um, you know, you or you don't. You can get up later because you don't have to worry about commuting to work, right? Or coming back, so you can wake up later. So those yes. are nice things. Yeah. Well, and and if nobody is looking at you, you can be in pajamas. <laughs> right? You can work in right. so if no one is uh, seeing you at home. So those are, are some you know, advantages. All right, guys, welcome. Uh, welcome Marvin and Carla and Yvonne and good Andres teacher. and I good, good evening, Andres and Wendy. Um, I'm just wondering if Haiti is there. Um, oh, there she is. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Haiti. How was your day? It was very, very um, productive. <laughs> it was what? Productive. Oh. Okay. A lot of business. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Good. I, I was. I was wondering why you were. You, you mentioned that word differently and I now I remember why. <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm glad that was, I'm, I'm glad that's the case. I'm glad that it was very productive. Um, okay, good, excellent. All right, guys, well, we're gonna take attendance. Um, so let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so uh, Ana Claudia. Oh, she is connecting. Good evening. Good evening, Ana Claudia. We just mentioned your name for the attendance. Oh, a present. Okay. <laughs> oh. My goodness, we. Oui. 
like they say in Spanish, que pulso. <laughs> oui. <laughs> okay. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Wonderful. Edgar. I don't think I saw Edgar. No, I didn't see. No. Okay. Uh, ja uh, Janet. Present. All right. And uh, Fabiola. I saw Fabiola. No, Fabiola is not here. Okay. Uh, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, okay. Welcome. Welcome. And um, let's see. Irene. Irene, is Irene here? No, okay. All right, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Ivan. Johnny. Thanks. Johnny? Johnny? No, no Johnny, okay. Uh, Josue. Josue. Present teacher. Welcome, Josue. Present. Welcome. Okay, and Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, welcome Juan Francisco. Okay, and uh, jury. Jury, no, I don't see jury. Okay. Um, and Carla? Present teacher. But Melissa? Melissa, no, right? Okay. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. Manuel? Manuel. No, okay. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. Wendy? Present teacher. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Welcome, Warner. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Welcome, Yvonne. Francisco Javier. Thank you. Francisco Javier, no. Okay. And Jenny. Jenny? No. Okay. Let me just repeat to the people that um, didn't didn't say uh, didn't say present when I called them. <laughs> making sure that every, I have everybody. Uh, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Okay, there's Edgar, okay. Fabiola? Present. All right, okay. Uh, Irene? Johnny? Tori? Uh, Melissa? Um, uh, Francisco Javier? And Jenny. Okay, so those are the people that I didn't hear. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, that'll be all for today then. Um, I mean, not all for today, but all for the, uh, the attendance right now. So we're going to um, continue, guys. Um, so we're going to start. Uh, by the way, guys, I have a question for you. All of the, the homework yesterday. I'm not, well. Okay, let me ask again. How many people did the homework yesterday? The one for the platform? Yeah. The same yes, there is a mistake. There is one that is not allowing. Okay, so you guys are all having problems with number 16? Yes, teacher, with the number two. Mm -hmm. I see so. I just wanted to make sure um, before I reported it, I wanted to make sure that it was not just I that was having problems with it, that everybody was also 
I'm on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to report it tomorrow um, so that you guys, because it, it, it's something, it's something really, really strange because the answer, okay, the answer that is in, that is given in the platform, when you write the same answer, it doesn't accept it. So it's, I, I don't know, it's something very strange. So let me, but whatever you wrote, uh, you probably are right. It's just simply that there's some problem, I guess, with the configuration, um, you know, the setting of the thing that I don't, for some reason it's not working. So let me Good just report to tomorrow. Good morning, that's right. Good evening. Uh, good evening. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Okay, so uh, anyways, we'll, we'll try to figure out that for tomorrow, okay? So just be a little patient with me. Okay, so um, we're going to start with our PowerPoint. Let's make sure that everybody can see it. Please let me know if you are able to see my PowerPoint. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so this is the beginner module six. It's unit four trainings. And uh, today is Tuesday, June 15th, 2017. Sorry, 2021. It's day number 17. What's going on with you today, teacher? <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. I'm just somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I, I think I need to wake, I need to get a, a coffee or something to wake up. <laughs> okay, and uh, your facilitator is just okay. Yeah, By the way, um, today is a good day, you know, happy day. You know, it's a payday, so woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I don't know, you guys get paid uh, we, um, bi weekly or monthly, I don't know, but if you guys get paid bi weekly, you probably are happy today. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyways, um, so yesterday I assigned this for homework, which was write seven questions about recent events at your classmates' work, your classmates' workplace using the past to be, right? So we learned we learned the uh, the past to be. We learned how to make questions. Remember how to make questions? Yeah. Okay, and everybody did it because remember I told you guys it's not going to take you more than 10 minutes like it probably took you five or less even okay well five five minutes five to ten I mean there's no way that you could have been doing this for more than 10 minutes so because um, you know very simple questions. All right, so um, then the instruction is the following. So here we're writing the questions and then we're going to be working in pairs. You're going to join your assigned breakout room, ask your classmate the questions and answer them. Okay, so you're going to ask the questions that you're, that you're going to ask your classmate the questions that you made and you're going to answer your partner's questions. Okay, share the answers with the whole class. All right, so that's what we're going to do right now. Any questions about the instructions? Something that you're not sure. So it all, is it all clear? We understand what we're going to be doing. What's this? Oops, sorry. You understand what's expected of you? Yes? Okay. All right. So remember, the idea is to ask your partner the questions. Your partner's going to answer, and then you are going to ask your partner. Sorry, then you are going to answer your partner's questions. Okay, so um, this is our seven questions, and you're both asked in answering. I'm going to give you about 15 minutes, okay, because there's at least 14 questions and 14 answers. So I'm going to give you at least uh, 15 minutes to do it, okay, and then I'm going to be going, of course. As always, I'm going to go around the class, uh, the, the different rooms, and ask you, you know, if you have, um, if, if you have any, um, um, sorry, if you need more time or something like that, okay? Um, 
Okay, Werner, are you able to participate? Yes, teacher. Right, yeah, you're able to participate in this com this activity. Like you can you can have to open up your microphone and talk, or is it going to be too dangerous for you? Because I know you're driving. Yes, I'm driving, teacher. Okay. All right. So I won't do that then. I, I won't put you in a. Okay, I'm going to put you in in. Um, with another, I'll put you with another group, but you don't have to. You can just like listen, okay? Um. Okay. So, um, like I said, I'm going to give you 15 minutes, and we're open. Anybody else, uh, by the way, driving? All right. Nobody's. Everybody's at home. I just don't want to put your life in danger, right? So. That's why I'm always, I always ask. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to have that guilty conscience. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Hi, hi, Irene. Hello. Um, Irene. Hi. Hi. Are you by yourself or also? Hello. No. Hello. Hello, Irene. Can you hear me? Can yes. You? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, you are supposed to join a group. Can you okay. See, you see the group that you're supposed mm. to I don't have any invitation. Okay, bye. Le voy a pasar a otro entonces. Now? Okay. What's the letter? Okay. Irene, are you having problems? Irene, yeah, um, yeah, having problems. You can you can leave and come back. Okay, gotta go visit the other group. time uh, okay what, how was your weekend um my weekend was very busy uh, in my house uh, i had a video conference uh, with my with my boss too and I was working in uh, other stuff in my, in my house. Um, and you? Yeah, well, I, I went to, I, I went to, to a restaurant near to the lake, Ilopango Lake. When I, when I returned at my oh, house, Ilopango Lake, uh, La Paz. 
Calle El Mirador, no, Calle La, no, I don't remember what is the name. But this was interesting because Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Uh, Carla didn't. Hello, teacher. I, I... <laughs> what? Carla didn't Hello, the last teacher. class, and I am going to uh, explain explain to her what I'm gonna do, and she is uh, writing her uh, questions. Okay, let's do something. Let's have first you ask Carla the questions. Okay, but I want you guys having the conversation. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So first, let's do questions, and then when we have whatever the questions, we'll do more questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, Liz, if you want. Okay, Carla, okay, uh, the, number one. Were you arrived late at work this week? Mm. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, uh, Are you I sure? have a question. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is the verb? Arrive. Arrive. The verb is arrive, not be. So you have to use the verb to be. So yes, where you arrive? No, because you're using you're using no. the verb ar arrive. You or you you use arrive or you use be, but you can use the two together. Do you understand what I'm saying? O utiliza el verbo. Yes, maybe verbo arrive. Uno de los dos, pero no puedo ser los dos. Okay, so you could ask that question. Usando el did. No, well, yes, if you were going to ask that question, you, uh, like with arrive, it would be did. But right now we want to practice be. So the best way to ask is, uh, were you late? Were you late to work this week? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, I get it. Al trabajo esa semana? Okay. Instead of ah, a okay. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I'm going to change it. Hey, were you late at work this week? O sea, el, ellos son mi client. Were you the, were you sending internal report, Heidi? Uh, yes, I was. Uh, were you sending email every day or daily? Yes, I was sending a lot of emails. Okay. Today okay. I sent 30 emails, believe it or not. <laughs> yes. How do you send 30 emails? like? I promise, and I received uh, 146. Do you like what, just copy and paste or what? Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but, uh -huh. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. All right, uh, Haiti, is your, is your camera having problems or? I don't know, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, just wonder. It's just that sometimes I think what happens is that when you're sharing, because I think you're sharing, right? Oh, no, no, it, Jan is sharing. I don't bring it. No, it's just that sometimes when you share, your, your camera automatically turns off, but, but you know. But no, not that case. Okay. Wow, but that's a lot. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. Okay. And today was not a heavy day. Oh. For emails, but... what, what is like, how many, do, how many do you send on a, on a very busy day? 50, 50 even. Because of a lot of things you can't imagine. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. 
Okay. Well, continue, guys. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. Go on, Elsie. And um, were you sending internal report? Yes, I was sending internal reports. Okay. I finish. Okay. But you know what? I would love to hear you guys not like elaborate on the answers, not just saying yes, no, no, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Uh, try to like, give more information. Just like Katie said, you know, yes, uh, I, I, I was very busy. You know, I, I was sending 30 emails uh, and that's not a busy, that's not a busy day, blah, blah, blah. All right. So you get a little bit more chance to, to make a conversation. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Um, Your company. Procedures in my company. Policies yes, and procedures they... in your company. In your company. Yes. And in the last one, did they provide you with material? They provide. Did they provide? I new material that was the question did they provide new material no i didn't no they didn't ah okay uh, no i that no they they did they did they didn't no they didn't ah okay okay you girls? is it sure is the show rounds were only that mm -hmm. i'm sorry teacher uh, I just wanted to remind you guys, you girls, that um, you are practicing the verb to be. So oh. I know I know that that many there are many questions you can make with did. Did you blah blah? Uh. blah but try to to limit it just to was and were. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So more simple. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, teacher, but. Uh, we use the was in an um, word too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm just saying that we want to practice that. That's the idea. Yes, and I just made two of them. Okay, let us let me just make the last one. Was this training helpful? Uh, yes, I, I was. Yes, okay. Was. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, could you repeat the question, Ana Claudia? Was the training helpful? So was the training helpful? Uh -huh. so, helpful. Um, so remember, Wendy, the, 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 struct, the subject is the training. So you can answer with, with yes, I. Okay. okay. Yes, it, it was. It was. Ah, okay. Okay. And that was my last question. So if you want, you can. Okay. Okay, give me a minute. Uh -huh. So changing the first question that I made to you, uh, I'm going to switch it to, were you late at war last week? <laughs> Okay, change the the, uh -huh. the, the clause. <laughs> Were you late at work last week? Mm. Were you late at work last but week? Use the short answer. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Excellent. Uh -huh. uh, I also. Sorry, girls. I to interrupt. I also want you girls to practice giving like, like more answers, like not just like, uh, yes. Don't limit to yourself to yes or no. Like, uh, you know, you ask a question and you say yes, no, but then give more information so you ah, have okay. more conversation. Uh, no, okay. No, no is short short answer. Short answer. Yes. Give short answers, say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't, but then give more information. Okay. Like when you say in Spanish, like, 
For example, um, ¿estás ocupada? Sí, lo estoy. Okay, but, but what, what, what? Es que if, if ahorita estoy haciendo la cena y um, la, la, mi familia ya casi va a venir, entonces sí estoy bien ocupada. Right. So you give okay. more information. Yeah? Okay. Idea. You can say, for example, Wendy, uh, no, I wasn't because I drive my car. Why? Go, no sé, algo así va. Exactly. Ah, okay. Uh, just let me change another one. Um, hi. Uh, hi. Were you in the training, your company? Okay. Uh, in this, the sentences are, are very simple by the structure. Yeah. And okay. If, uh, if you say, or not, if was Edgar happy today? And your answer yeah, could be. Uh, chicos, ¿a dónde están ustedes? Aquí, uh, yo me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> no, no, sorry. No, estábamos practicando la, la, la elaboración de las, pre, de las preguntas usando el verbo be, to be en pasado. Ajá, pero, pero, la, pero el, estamos haciendo la tarea de ayer, no estamos trabajando todavía en el libro. No, 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 solo no. era para no, no. tener un punto no, 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 de referencia. Un marco de referencia. Okay. Sí, para, 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 para verlo de la estructura. Ajá. Primero va el B, el SOT, y que las respuestas siempre van a ser cortas en este caso. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Yeah. Yeah. Ok. Thanks, um, teacher. Um, you, I, 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 I you asked ask the, it to you. The question. Yes. Yeah. Was, was Edgar happy today? Yes. Uh, it, it, it was. Okay. Yes, was, he was, was Edgar happy today? So you can answer two ways. Either yes. I, I. I. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was. I was good. I was as or, I was. Yes, he was. He was. He was exactly, but not it, because you oh, are sorry. not. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Are okay. you guys finished? Yes, teacher. We. Yes, finish. You. See you guys in the main room in a moment. Yes. Okay. Fire filler trainer. Fire filler. Fire filler. Ah, fire filler. Fire filler trainer. Yes. Yes, fire filler trainer. Teacher, could you? Um, Help us with the uh, pronunciation. Uh, mm, entrenamiento de. Mm, yeah. Um, oh. Firefighter. Firefighter trainer. Trainer. Uh, Firefighter fire. training. Firefighter training. Firefighter training. Fire. Fire. Well, actually, it would. Firefighter training. Yes. Fire. 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 Trainer. Fire. Fighter. Training. Fire. Okay. Trainer. Okay. Fire. Yes, I. Yes, I did. Fighter. Fighter. Yes, I did. Fire. Fighter. Fighter. Yes. Uh, one years ago. <laughs> okay. You. You uh, were a firefighter. Uh, you were a firefighter. Was it? No, no, no. I received. Uh, the fire, fire, fighter training oh. one years ago. Okay, okay, but you never be you. You were never a firefighter. 
No? You were never a firefighter? No. No. Oh, okay. You just received the training. Yeah, I received the training. Uh, uh, only MLG. Uh, requirement in my, my job for me, my company. Oh, it was a requirement from your job? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. All right. Are you guys finished? Um, yeah. It's number seven. It's number seven. It's seven. It's, it's seven. On. Uh, seven is how much time how, pardon, how much time what state you're training. Um, a week, I, I guess. Mm. <laughs> oh, one week. One week, okay. Yeah. One week. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm hoping that you guys had enough time to, to talk about, about the questions, ask and answer. Yes? Yes, the chair. Okay, good. All right, I wanted to call your attention to something. The, the point of this activity was to practice the, the, the verb to be, you know, in the past. So you should have made questions was was and were. Okay, so, um, you know, if you, you know, I, I, if you used other verbs, then it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be um, the best way. Because with other verbs, you, you cannot use was or were. Okay, so I'm going to say this in, in Spanish, just because I really want to click, like, leave this like crystal clear. Okay, quiero que esté Así, um, eh, tan claro como el agua. No se puede mezclar otros verbos con was y were cuando hacemos preguntas. ¿Ok? Entonces, no podemos decir, por ejemplo, uh, was you, um, was you eat, um, was you eat uh, a big breakfast before before uh, work? You cannot say, was you eat a good breakfast? We can't say that. Why? Because we have two verbs, eat and was. We can't put them together. Okay? Entonces, no es posible. No pueden poner el was con el eat o cualquier otro verbo. Okay? No se puede. La única manera que podría usar el verbo to be es si no usan otro verbo, sino que podemos usar otro como adjetivos. Right? For example, uh, were you um, hungry before, were you hungry before work today? Okay? Or were you, were you, um, were you stressed after work? Were you stressed? Okay. Or, for example, uh, was your boss in a good mood? Was your boss in a good mood? In the buen ánimo. Okay. Was your boss in a good mood today? Things like that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. All right, good. And one more thing. If you're going to be using other verbs, then the idea is that you're going to be using an, the other auxiliary, which is, we haven't looked at that right now, 
but I'm just going to let you know the auxiliary is did. So if you're going to use other verbs, you're not going to use was. You're going to be using did. Pero eso, como les vuelvo a decir, um, eso todavía no hemos llegado ahí y no se preocupen por eso. Ok. Um, ok. All right. Teacher. And no puedo decir, for example, I was go to the school. No, no, porque you have go, go, the verb is go. Yeah, so no podemos mezclar was y después go. What is the correct form? Did you go to school today? Did you go? Okay. The chair in my sentence is correct. Uh, who were to party? Again? Who were to party? Who were to party? Um, for the fiesta. Yeah. What, what is, can you ask me the question in Spanish? Quien estuvo en la fiesta. Ah. Who was at the party? the party? Who was? Who was at the party? Can you stop? Oh, uh, I, in the next, who were you talking? To. Uh -huh. Who were you talking to? Con talking to. Talking to. Con quien estabas hablando? Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Or you can also ask, who were you talking with? That means it's, it's possible. Who are you talking oh, with? Who were you talking? With. Always, you have to say, who are you talking to or who were you talking with? It. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, and just to, to remember, it is word. That is word. word. Almost word. Who were you? Almost like a no. Is that right? Sorry, could you repeat the question? No, no, the pronunciation. I oh. remember yesterday you said uh, that will be like were, almost like an O. Were. 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 Were, er. were you? Repeat oh, okay. after me. Were. <laughs> were. Were. <laughs> were. Is were. That is what I confused because I remember I grew up one with just W-R is were. 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 Uh-huh. So okay, and then the one with the, and the other one is war, the war, the fighting, war. Right. And uh, the other is where. <laughs> My goodness, those right. oh, three. Yeah. Um. So I said were. Okay. This is the past for the verb to be, right? Were. Where is the verb to be, yeah, from the verb to be, okay. which is different from where, which is different from war, if, but it's the same as war. Okay. The pronunciation, not the meaning. The pronunciation, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, the first one is were. <laughs> er, 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 er. Okay, er, mm -hmm. that is er. Here is er, er. Mm -hmm. This one is. War. War. Can you repeat those war, please? Yeah, I can repeat the, the word. Um, so this one is where. No, no, sorry, sorry. Oh, so, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's word. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Were. Were, where, where, or, or, okay. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. Because, um, got it, Marvin? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm actually very bad at um, phonetics in the sense of like the, the symbols. I'm really bad at the symbols. So I always have to look at them up. Um, okay, but I'm going to, so I'm going to put the symbol here. I'm actually drawing. This is actually the symbol that's called schwa. 
Okay, this is a schwa. And the symbol is actually like an inverted E. Okay, so it looks like this. Like an upside, upside down E. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So the, the sound the, the sound of the of this is like an upside down E. I don't know. I don't know. Or... Does that look like an upside down E? I don't know. Yes. Does it? Or, or like where? 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 Um, it's like pronouncing the W with the R together, right? It's where. where. Yeah. Y el otro es where. Where. Uh, and the other is war. Where. Okay. Got it. Okay. So this is, yeah. Where. So this is like what we call the, it's like, this is a, the schwa sound. And it's the sound is er, er, er. er. But it's a, the, the schwa is just uh, uh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. It's like when you say, like, for example, a car, a, a, a car, a, a car. sound, a, okay, that's the schwa, okay, and this, okay. Is, this is how you do it. Okay, now, here, um, here, just give me a second, let me get the symbol. Just a second. It's not coming to me. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, okay, so this one actually is just like an like an E. A regular E. Eh. Right? So the sounds eh. Where? Eh. Eh. Okay? So this is like an upside down E. This is a regular E. Okay, so this is a... So this sound right here corresponds to a regular E. So it's eh. So it's where? Eh. 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 Okay? All right, got it? Got it. Got it. Any questions so far? No, it's clear now. Thank you. It's clear? Okay. Um, and then, let's make sure, I just give a second. I just want to make sure that I have it correct. I want to give you wrong info. Okay. And then the other one, is O, O, okay? And this one is like, it looks like a, like a backwards C. Like this, it's a backwards C, okay? So that, that sound here, it can be either, that sound with the A or the O right there, it's like a backwards, let's see, it's in spell, and it's, um, you say it, O, O. Okay. All right. All right. Any questions okay. so far about that? No, not now. No. Okay. So they do have they do have distinct sounds. I know that that to the untrained ear it may feel the same, you know. But if you train your ear, you will see that they these sounds are different. Okay, so this one is a, a, o, a, a, o. So you see, it's very different. They're very different the sounds. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, now that we got that out of the way, 
um, you just just remember, guys, that the idea is for you guys to uh, practice the was and the were. Okay, that's what I need you guys to do. Okay, and today we're actually going to continue practicing that. Okay, because we're going to. Um, okay, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Do you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. We did this already. Because... Now, we're gonna, now we're gonna look at the conversation. Okay. Um, so the conversation here. Uh, before we start the conversation, we have two questions I want you to discuss. How often do you evaluate products at company, at the company, at your company, sorry, I should say at your company? And who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Okay, so I want you right now to think about how often do you evaluate the products at the company and who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? I'm gonna give you a minute to think about that. Okay, so how often do you evaluate products at your company? Um, tell me a little bit about that, uh, Jury. Uh, never, never at all. Really, you never evaluate products at your company? Never at all? Uh, sometimes uh, software, they ask us what the, the technical requirement that the the software need to be used on the computer to decide the if the company is going to buy it and use it but it is it is it is uncommon okay all right thank you uh juan francisco what about your company how often do you evaluate products at your company Never. Um, I produce the power electric energy. Um, I don't know. Like um, how? Like so? Do you ever evaluate any products at your workplace? Juan Francisco, do you ever evaluate any products at your workplace? Mm, no. A teacher and my company produce the, the uh, power electric energy. Uh, okay. I don't know. I but don't know. Uh, Okay, but that product, that's a product, right? Or a service. Yes. So do you yes. ever evaluate it? Um, the unit conversation, uh, who is, uh, who is uh, by the, the, my com company generation? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, all right. Um, what about um, Andres? Tell me a, bit, a little bit about uh, how often you evaluate products at your company. Never teach Never? You never evaluate the products at your company? No. And by products, I mean like it could also be the services. Do you evaluate any? Any products or services at your company? No, not sure. 
Miss uh, Jessica. Yeah. Uh, in our company, uh, monthly in a monthly maintenance, we did uh, proof of quality of imagine and penetration of imagine. Okay, good, good, excellent. So you do it monthly because yeah, yeah okay. Because our company uh, it is a services, but in maintenance monthly maintenance we did proof of quality of imagines. Right, very good, exactly. And and that's what I mean. And when you when you evaluate like Evaluating a product at a company means that the company sits down and says, okay, let's evaluate the product or the service that we are giving people. Let's evaluate it. You know, is, it, is this a good product? Are people um, looking for it? Uh, what can make this product better, et cetera, et cetera. Does your company ever do that? Yes. In, no? in our company, we in our sure. company we have a mystery shopper. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, tell me. Tell us a little bit about that. I would evaluate because if I evaluate the service I give in my branch, it, I would say it's okay. But if you have a mystery shopper, then you will know the truth. Do you all know what a mystery shopper is? No? Okay. Heidi, can you explain the idea of a mystery shopper? It is a shopper that gets to the branch and, and to find out how, how we bring the service and usually gets a camera with it. So uh, he knows if you, if we explain all uh, the products the right way, if we, if we, como se dice si saludamos? Greet. If we, if we? Greet. Greet. If All we right. greet the right way, if, if we follow logs, if we tell the customers about warranties and everything. Right. And yeah. to report. And also, also, um, if, if find out if we have, um, uh, if we have, uh, if, if the branch is clean, if 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 if, uh, if the ATM is working okay, if the security guard is uh, greets too, a lot right. of things. Okay, and, exactly. and so we, the way we used to act. Very good. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a mystery shopper is somebody that you know comes into the shop. Um, they don't know who it is like that's why it's called a mystery shopper um so they the person doesn't have like uh the the staff have no idea who the person is they just come in and like you like uh, he says they have a camera most of the time and they're filming and that way they're able to evaluate the products and and the service too right mm -hmm. how often does do does your uh your company do that haiti monthly okay all right good in each in each branch in each branch in each branch okay okay got it excellent okay and the next question is who's in charge of buying supplies at your workplace um warner who's in charge of buying, buying supplies do you know teacher in my case um <clears throat> This is quality of the glues on the dares of the weapons. Um, is evaluated the quality of the materials. It is uh, useful uh, life duration uh, according uh, to its specification. Uh, the others is um, uh, the 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 ones you buy are with uh, the gunsmith according uh, to evaluation of the product uh, that they have uh, to carry all the fencers equipment uh, products such as foils mask 
electrical jackets, gloves, uh, fencing pants, and the other products uh, such as tips, electric, uh, wire special glue. Wow, you really thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good okay excellent uh all right what about um wendy what about in wendy's company uh who is in charge of buying supplies at your company well uh in my company it has a more more department but in my in my workplace specifically, the charge the buy the supplies is my boss. It's my boss. Uh, he um, he ha, she sorry she has a I don't know what do you say a requisition requirement. The requirement that the the supplies uh, the workplace uh, only one because my company is very big and the me, the department is in charge the house as uh, buying supplies in the uh, in this in this department specific. Okay, sounds good, excellent. Okay, good, good. Now that we've had a chance to talk a little bit about that, let's uh, take a look at this conversation now, okay? So this conversation is between Hank and Eric, and I'm gonna need, once again, uh, your help. So I'm gonna need volunteers to help me with Hank and Eric. Who can help? Me, teacher. Wendy. Okay, Wendy, you, can you, do you wanna be? Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful, Carla. Wendy, do you want to be Hank or, or Eric? I hang. Is okay, sounds good. And Carla, you can be Eric. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was. $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Thank you, girls. Bravo. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right, so tell me um, any questions about the, the meaning of the vocabulary? Sounds like you guys all had uh, the same, you, you were all on the same page. I see the same words over and over again. <laughs> That's good. Anything more? More the same picture. <laughs> okay, uh, Luis, is it buy it downtown or just downtown? Uh, downtown in this context. Okay.
Anything else? Okay, so let's start with the first one, spare part. A spare part is an extra part. Um, it's usually um, something that you, that you get when like there's a machine that uh, doesn't work and there's a part of the machine that doesn't make the machine work. So you have to buy an extra part from another machine to be able to fix that machine. So um, you can get like spare parts for like cars, for example, which is very common to get spare parts for, ca for, for cars, but it could be basically for any kind of machine. Okay. Then there's the word sewing. Oh, sorry, but by the way, do we all understand the word spare or do we have any questions about that? Always goes together a spare part. If I just say spare, doesn't mean the same. No, uh, you can have a spare tire, for example. A spare uh, tire is, uh, you yes. know, you know, you know, in a yes. car, there's there's always like a tire that you, you can put in mm -hmm. the trunk, and in case the the tire that you are using in the in the car gets, um, you know, gets flat, then you can change it. That's mm -hmm. a spare tire. So a spare is I like extra, basically saying the word extra. Okay, thank you. Teacher, spare is, is the machine, for example, the part of machine extra. is different than a tire. The word, the word spare means extra. So a spare part is an extra part. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Repuesto. Exactly. Okay, let's look at the word um, sewing. Sewing machine. A sewing machine is the machine that you use to be able to make clothes, right? So to put the two parts of the clothes together, right? So when you're ha when you you're making clothes, uh, for example, let's say let's take um let's take my my blouse for example. The blouse is made of different parts. Like for example, this is the sleeves. To be able to um, connect the blouse with the sleeves, they have to use a sewing machine to put the two parts together. That is sewing. Do we understand? Exactly, that's what it is. Um, sewing means um, costura, exactly. And we understand sewing machine? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 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 How is this expression that says sewing, sewing gone? Is, is it the same sweet. expression or not? Sweet, sweet. No, that's chewing, not sewing. Chewing. Not sewing. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read in the chat the difference. Ah, chewing. Okay. So you can see that there's a difference um, in the in the spelling and the pronunciation because this one is chew, chewing, and the other one is sew, sewing. Okay, so it's very different. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at the word downtown. The, the word downtown basically means um, like the center of the city, okay? So when you say, or did you buy it downtown? It means that you buy it in the center, the heart of the city, okay? So for example, in San Salvador, downtown is the area where they have like the cathedral, the, um, the national palace, the national, um, a, what's it called? The National Library. Uh, you know, there is the um, the different squares like uh, Plaza Libertad and Plaza Barrios and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the downtown area. So that's the 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 like the center, the heart of the city. Okay, does that make sense? Just, just. 
Yes, teacher. And as usual means like every day, like usual, okay? So it's like saying como usualmente o como, como siempre. So it's like when you say in Spanish, como siempre. Any questions? No. Okay, so before we continue, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to take attendance, okay? So we have um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. And just give me a moment. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Fabiola, no, right? Okay. All right, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, Irene, are you having any problems with the camera? Irene? Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, and Johnny? Johnny? All right, Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Yuri? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Melissa? Luis? Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel is not here. Okay, Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Francisco Javier. And Jenny. Oh, okay. All right, thank you guys, so that's all. Okay, let's go back to the uh, PowerPoint. You guys can see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now uh, say the, the conversation I want you to repeat after me, okay? So here we go, the first part. Hi, Eric. Hi, Hi Eric. Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part? Did you buy, Did the, you spare buy the, the spare, spare, spare part? part? The spare part. For the sewing machine? For the sewing machine. 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 So it's not machine. Machine, no. It's machine. 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 
Machine. Machine. Yes, I did, Robert. Yes, yes I, I did, did Robert. Robert. The price was $78. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the product. Of the new product? Of, of the, the new, new product. The new product. That's right. That's, That's right. right. It will be ready tomorrow. It will, it will be, ready, be ready, tomorrow. ready tomorrow. Great. 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 Did you order it online? Did you, did you order, order it online? online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes. 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 I went to get it by myself. I went to get it by myself. By myself. By myself. By myself. Downtown. 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 How was the customer service? How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. Excellent, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is um, we're going to get you guys to work in pairs um, as we have done in the past. And this time uh, we're going to be practicing the conversation and answer these um, questions about the conversation. What did Eric need to buy? What was the price of the product? How was the customer service at the store? Okay, so I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to open up the rooms right now. You can go ahead and join. Ivan, are you having any problems? Irina, are you having any problems? Irene? Irene, are you having any problems? Okay, but you teacher. are, you are, oh teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry. Como Irene no me contestaba y no se, no se conectaba, entonces dije, va a estar solo. Entonces vine yo y lo moví. Y después no, vi que ella se, es... se entró. Y... Sí, ya estábamos, ya estábamos hablando con Irene. I'm sorry. Lo que me gusta es que todos los grupos se alegran cuando llego. ¿Qué? All right, so go ahead and practice with Irene. Ok, teacher. Okay. Okay, Irene, okay I teacher, uh, I'm going to okay, going to take off my camera because my internet is low, is working low, and if I take off the camera, it's better for my connection. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 And uh, I'm going to be hung. Okay. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Price. What was the price of the product? And the price was uh, $78. Uh -huh. How was the customer service of the store? It's it was nice. So you can do Okay. And uh, your first. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Yes, I still. Okay. I, I have. Uh -huh. uh, I had it. Did you buy the spare, spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Right. Did you order this? online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, it's number three is it is well nice as usual. Teacher, it is necessary to write the answer question is the the in the last number three is the customer service it was nice as usual or is it was nice as usual is correct no it's fine it was nice as usual it's okay 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 Are you guys finished? yep yes teacher I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Teacher. Uh Picture is here. Yes, 
Okay. All right. <laughs> Peaches in the house. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, um, all right. Any any problems? Any questions that you had uh, while you were practicing the conversation? What? Did you have Not any teacher. questions while you were practicing the conversation? Yes. I just, I just want to make sure uh, the pronunciation of is like production is product. The pronunciation of product is product. Like uh, no, it's product with O. Okay, product. 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 Okay, I have that. Uh, product. Correct. Yes. Anything else? Any other questions? Very good question, by the way. Okay. Well, did you uh, and you uh, uh, machine machine is the correct way machine that's machine right. not machine okay. machine no sh with sh sh with sheen. machine machine okay and the other one is so sewing 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 okay Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, it's okay. So everything's clear? Yeah? Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to move on. Now, in the conversation, you probably already noticed that uh, we have questions or in sentences with the word was, right? Um, so, for example, we say, um, the price was 78. Um, it says here, um, was a customer, how was the customer service? It was nice as usual, right? So uh, we're get, we use a lot of the here, the was, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that topic, let's answer the questions. The first question that we have is, what did Eric need to buy? What's the answer for that? What did he need to buy? Buy the spare part for Buy the spare part for sewing machine. Good. So Eric, oh, hold on. Eric, oh, Eric needed to buy a spare part, sorry, spare part. And yes, you can say forged sewing machine. Sewing machine. Okay, so that would be the answer. So is that okay? Is that clear for everybody? The answer is okay? Okay, all right, there you go. Next question, what was the price of the product? Complete answer? The price it was. Okay, the price, price was, was correct? 78. 78 dollars. Dollars, okay, good. All right, not colones, right? Dollars. Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, very soon. Do we need to use the it? price it was okay. we have the same question good my very good observation that's actually what i wanted to ask you what do you guys think about that for me it's not necessary why because the price is the the subject uh -huh. yeah thanks so be careful with with uh, making the mistake of uh, putting a double subject. Just like when you say, for example, I don't know, like Mario he, right? Like we can't say Mario he because then we're repeating a subject, right? So the same thing with the price, we can't say the price it, but it's also incorrect to eliminate the the subject, okay? So in English, we can't eliminate it. So if, for example, we can't just say, 
we can't just say it was seventy eight. Was seventy eight dollars? We can't say that. Okay. So we have to have subject. So in this case, we say the price was or it was. It's also possible. Okay. All right, but don't forget, we need a subject. So never answer, never answer something like, I see this very often. Was well, 75, 70. Is 75, $78, dollars, for example. I see that very, very often, especially with the is. I don't know why it was so much. Was well, not so much, but, but with is, yes, it's very common. I, I can see that all the time. And that's not correct. We need to have a subject. So, okay. you know, in Spanish, we have el verbo tacito, right? You guys probably remember that a little bit from, from, <laughs> from. Ay, Dios. <laughs> Teacher. Huh? Ejemplo, si nosotros hablamos en español, siempre se va a ver bien el hecho de, de decir una, de contestar algo de manera corta pero en inglés no, siempre de, de completar, de dar una, una respuesta como un poco más, más larga. No, no, no necesariamente. But if you're going, we can't, but we just, what I'm saying is we can't just put the verb was. You can say, what was the price of the product? $78, that's okay. But we can't just say was $78. So if we are going to have a verb, you need a subject. I'll say this to you. If you have a verb, you, have, you need to have a subject. So el verbo tacito. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, teacher, but in, in this case, we can change uh, the price for it was. Yeah, that's fine. OK. So going back to the that verbo tacito que que están ni siquiera se acuerdan de eso que era en es, ahí en, en su clase de, de lenguaje el verbo tacito es es este. <laughs> when in Spanish you eliminate the subject so for example instead of saying uh, yo como arroz you just say como arroz and you understand the subject is yo or uh, instead of saying nosotros uh, vamos de camino, you, you can say vamos de camino and you understand that the subject is nosotros. So that's, but that does not exist in English. And that's something you have to understand and you have to like drill it in your head that we do never, we never, 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 never eliminate the subject if we have a verb. The only, I guess, exception would be when we have an, an imperative, right? When it's like you're given an order, like sit down, right? But that's a totally different story. Okay. Got it? Yeah? It's clear? It's not clear? You're confused? I lost you. What, what happened? <laughs> okay for everybody yes me yes <laughs> okay good what about the others for me yes teacher good all right okay so uh, just remember that because like i said it's i see that all the time that um students eliminate the subject and it's not possible to do that Okay, so let's go now to number three. How was the customer service at the store? How was the customer service at the store? It was, it nice. was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. usual. It was nice. And if you want to say as usual, that's fine. But if you just said it was nice, that's fine. It was, it was nice as usual. Okay, good. Okay, great. So like I said, in this, in this uh, um, conversation, you have a lot of the was, and we're today we're going to be looking at that. Okay, so let me just fix that. Okay, and we're going to move on. 
So here we have questions, verb to be in the past. Okay, so let's take a look at this right now. I need a volunteer to help us read. Somebody who has not helped us today, somebody who has been very quiet today. Let me see who has been very quiet today. I think Yvonne, you've been very quiet today. I want to hear you. So you want to help us with that? Okay. Use the past of be to ask question about situation in the past. A structure, be plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Was the training interesting? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were all employees at the conference? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so this is actually um, like a continuation of what we saw yesterday. So here we're at, we're, remember again, what I've been explaining since the beginning of the class is that this is only applicable if the verb is be. If we have another verb, forget it, okay? This, it can't happen with other verbs. This is only with the past of be, okay? And the structure is lead plus a subject plus a complement. And in this one, we need a complement. The complement is not optional because we can't just say this, the verb to be and the subject. It doesn't make sense. If I just say, am I? Am I what? Are you? Are you what? Unless the, we, you understand from the context. If the context lets you know, then it's okay. For example, a, you can say, you are late. Am I? Then that's okay because you understand that am I, it means am I late, right? Okay. So, anyways, um, the structure, like I said, is with the verb to be. It starts, we always start with the verb to be in the past. Okay. So, we have the verb to be in the past. For example, was the training interesting? Were all the employees at the conference? Okay. After that, we're going to be using the subject. In this case, we're going to be using the training of the subject. Here it's all the employees. And then uh, finally, we're going to be using the complement. Okay? And the complement in this one is interesting or at the conference. So at the conference, this one doesn't actually have a sub, uh, an, an adjective. I remember I told you whenever you have an adjective, we use the verb to be, that's true, but it's not the only case. For example, in this case, you don't have an adjective. You have um, an adjective of a place. Okay? At the conference, it's the place where it's at, okay? And then we have the answer, okay? The answer, can either be yes, subject plus B, okay. or we can have no plus a subject plus B plus not. Okay, and this is again something that we saw yesterday. So this is not new information really. This is something we saw yesterday, okay? So over here, okay. So, um, so we're gonna start with the yes, right? Or the no, oh, hold on. We're either going to start with the yes or the no, okay, like this one. Yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. 
Yes, they were. Well, no, they weren't. Um, then after that, we it follows the the subject, right? And in this case, it's it, they, it, they. Oh, hold on. Sorry, there's a mistake. So we use the thing. And then finally, the uh, the verb to be. Okay. Okay. Verb to be. So was, were, was, were. And if it's going to have a negative form, then we're going to have the not. Right? In this case, over here is the contraction, and this one as well has a contraction. All right. So, is this pretty clear for everybody? Yeah. Let's see. I, I want to make sure that you do understand it. Okay. So, um, So let's see, just give me a moment. Okay, so um okay, so I'm going to show you some examples here. The first question is, was I late? What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to write the answer. Okay, I'm going to write the answer that we would put. Okay, so was I late? If the answer was yes, what would we say? Yes, and I. I was. Was I late? Yes, yes I was. Yes, I was. Was I late? What are you going to answer? Yes. What? Yes, you were. <laughs> Yes, you were. Okay. Yes, you were. Because I'm asking you, was I late? But we thought that we were asking ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but normally you don't really ask yourself if you're late, right? Okay. Well, with the stress of the <laughs> now and this day. Me maybe. too, all the time. <laughs> Me too. I told myself. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right, so that's that's one way. And if I'm going to ask answer no, what am I going to say? No. No, you weren't. Weren't. You weren't. Were not. Or were not. Yes. Okay. So weren't or were not. <laughs> okay. All right, is that clear for everybody? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, let's. Uh, bueno, parece todavía un poco pequeño. Si no hago más grande. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Cool. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, for some reason it changed the color. Okay. All right, so there you go. All right, next question. Let's see if you guys can do this. So, were you sick? What's going to be your answer? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. 
or, or no, I wasn't. Okay, so I'm gonna say, yes, I was, okay? And if you're gonna answer the no, you're gonna say no. 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 I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Um next oh focus. Okay, next question. Was he surprised? Is he surprised? Yes, he, yes, yes, he was. He was. Oh, yes. No, he wasn't. He was. Good. Or? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. I'm just going to keep it simple. Well, yeah. Or we're not. Was not. Okay, same thing here. Okay. All right, next, next question. Was she, was she from Italy? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Okay, or no. She wasn't, or was not. The next question is, was it a big house? Yes, it was. Okay. Yes, it was. <laughs> Or it wasn't. Or no, it was yeah. not. Or it wasn't. Okay, good. Okay, next question. Were we ready? Were we ready? Answer? Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. No, we were. Okay. Or, no, we were not. <laughs> Or no, we weren't. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. All right. And I think there's only one more. Were you early? Were you early? Think about the question and think about the answer. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay, good. Because you're asking, were you early? No, I wasn't. Yeah, so you say, yes, I was. No. Mm -hmm. Teacher, and, and for grandma, in the answer, always we need to use a comma after yes or not. Yes. In the short answer. Oh, okay. Correctly, yes, yes. Okay. No. No, what? It was not. No, I was not. Or wasn't. Or wasn't. Good. There you go. Okay. All right. So there you go. Those are the answers. And that's it, I think. I'm not mistaken. That's the last one. Oh, no, there's one more. Sorry. Were they busy? Were they busy? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. No, they were not. Okay, or negative would be? No. No, they, they were not. Well, they weren't. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? No, for me. Okay. Okay, no, no, no problems. They're all, it's all okay then. Just give me a second. I'm gonna have to make this one smaller. I'm just not kidding. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay, so those are the answers. Any questions so far? No, it's all clear then? Yes, all is clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. All right, guys, so that's, that's how we make the questions and the answers. So I hope everything is crystal clear for you guys. Okay. All right. So let's see if you if it is actually crystal clear. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing. So I hope everybody has the answers here. And okay. So the exercise is here. It says, read the following services. Write the questions to evaluate them using simple paths and pass and pass the B. Join well, right now it's join, it says join the assigned room, but we're not gonna we're not gonna have time for that right now. Join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, then ask the questions to a classmate, share the answers you got with the rest of the class. So here we have this information. Okay um about it and i want you to ask questions okay using this information so right now we have a few minutes left of class we're going to use these these minutes to make questions okay about these two services actually um let's actually use this time wisely i'm going to ask uh two volunteers to help me read who wants to read the first one me Okay. Um, and who wants to read the second one? Oh, 
Josue, you want to help us with the second one? Yeah, I can. All right, go ahead, Anna Claudia. Okay, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare Part ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ruidwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Wonderful, thank you. All right, mm -hmm. let's read the other one. On January 2nd, I bought the wrist part that were the Requested. The price was thirty dollars each, and they were installed installed in the civil machine. The machine was working properly. Thank you. Okay. So using that information, you can go ahead and ask questions uh, using the simple past and the past to be. When I say simple past, we're going to be using the did. For example, did. Did you buy a spare part for the printer at spare ES, for example? Right, if not, we're gonna use the verb to be, simple past, okay? So basically, if you're not sure, let me just write here. So it's either, you're gonna either, have, there's two possibilities. You're either gonna have the verb to be, in the past, so was or were, in other words, plus subject plus complement. Plus, of course, the, the question mark. Okay, so that's one possibility. And the second possibility is asking the question with other verbs. And in this case, we're going to be using did. So did plus subject plus verb. And it has to be in the base form. Uh, Complement is optional. And of course, this question mark. Those are those are the two possible forms that you can be using. And while you guys are doing that, while you're working on that, I take attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Janet? Present teacher. Fabiola? Katie? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Johnny. Josue. Present teacher. Present teacher. Jerry. Present teacher. Um, Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Luis? Present teacher. Manuel? Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Warner? Present teacher. Con? Present. Francisco? 
and Jenny. All right. Are you guys doing? Are we almost finished with the questions? Yes, seven questions. Okay. All right. So, seven questions. I'm sure you did a minimum two already, right? Mm -hmm. Creo que han hecho menos de dos. You probably did too. I've <laughs> 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 been beat. Ni una sola. Okay. All right. So, anyways, um, I want you guys to finish that off. Nuevamente les recuerdo, no toma mucho tiempo hacer preguntitas, les va a tomar 5 o 10 minutitos. Tenemos ese tiempo, estoy casi segura que tienen 5 o 10 minutitos en todo el día. Um, so please uh, finish that off. We're going to work on that tomorrow. We're going to, you know, ask those questions tomorrow. Okay? But please do them. Okay? Using the did or the was or were. Okay? And uh, today, according to the, uh, the program, is Johnny's turn, but Johnny's not here. So would anybody need any tutoring for today? No? Okay. No. All right, guys, that will be all then for today. Take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, see teacher. Tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bye -bye. Everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow.